A very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you are following us from. This is actually, uh, we are coming to you live from Nakuru County. And uh, today we are having an amazing, amazing show here, right here from Fika and Feast. Fika and Feast is uh, located in Nakuru County, uh, just uh, around three kilometers from Nakuru uh, CBD. And uh, Fika, Fika and Feast Hotel has amazing, amazing dishes that they are offering at a very, very affordable prices. So wherever you visit Nakuru County, please make an attempt to come uh, uh, to, to, to Fika and Feast Hotel. And today, my, uh, my guest is uh, really amazing. I'm having uh, Thomas Odiambo himself, and uh, his story is amazing. And uh, I really don't want to take much of his time because today is going to be my special guest. And uh, I want to welcome you all on this uh, uh, special, uh, special segment. And uh, welcome so much. My name is Peter Fabius. Karibu sana, Mr. Thomas Odiambo. Thank you. All the way from Kisumu Dala. Kisumu County. Kisumu County. That is Europe. That is Europe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we are actually having a very candid conversation and this uh, story is really uh, uh, touching. And uh, I just want to allow you first of all to introduce yourself to our viewers. Okay. Hello viewers. I'm Diambo Thomas Nunda. I come from Kisumu County, specifically Nyando Sabu County. That is where I come from. My age now, I'm 31 years, mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. I come from, I was born in a family of four, mm -hmm. whereby I'm the third born in that family. Mm -hmm. We have an elder sister, followed by my brother, then me, then our younger sister. Amazing, amazing. Now, yeah. Odiambo, now I want us to just go direct to the conversation now. Yeah. Uh, I know you have just said you are the third born in a family of four. Yes. And uh, how was life like? when you were growing up, schooling, primary, just a, a quick recap of uh, how school, uh, schooling was. Life was not such pleasant mm. during primary level. My parents had no job. Mm -hmm. So you know, it was very hard. My mom could only wash clothes for people. And uh, the amount that she could get even in a day could not even support, mm -hmm. could not cater for the basic needs in a family. Mm -hmm. So the life was not such a good life. We were just living hand to mouth. Mm -hmm. That is how it was. Mm -hmm. From primary, at least life changed when I entered high school, when I joined high school. Mm -hmm. That is when life started to change, started encountering new things. Mm -hmm. That is all about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you went to high school. Yes. And I made to understand that you, it was really not in Kisumu County. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you were telling us about uh, something that happened there, uh, the way you got introduced to this whatever, uh, this cult, if I call it so, if I'm not wrong. Uh, how did it start? And, uh, you know, just take us through secondary, then you can now transition to uh, university life. Okay, in secondary, mm -hmm. I learned, uh, it said, I learned at a very big high school. Mm -hmm. Because I performed very well in class 8 in my KCP. I passed very well. I had 354 marks. Mm -hmm. So I was called in that school, in Beta High School. Mm -hmm. It's good to mention it. Yes. So when I joined Beta High School, right from, from 1 up to the 4th form, mm -hmm. I was, I'm bright, even now I'm bright. Still I was bright. still bright until now. <laughs> I've never changed. Mm -hmm. So at Beta High School, mm -hmm. I did my 4th form in the year 2010. Mm -hmm. And I scored A plane. A plane. I had 81 points. Mm -hmm. I only failed in Kiswahili, which I got to be plain. Hey. The remaining subjects, A, A, A. So if you take A, that is 12 points. You multiply by 6, you get 72. Uh -huh. Plus 9 points of Kiswahili, you will realize 81, 81 points. points. So I scored 81 points out of Beta High beta School. High. From Beta High School. Mm -hmm. So I passed very well. And life was now changing by then. That's it, the that's, real Omera. That is the real Omera. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, mm -hmm. life became easier because now I thought that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh -huh. So I joined Nairobi University. Mm -hmm. Which year was this? That one was the year 2011. Mm -hmm. I joined Nairobi University. Mm -hmm. And I was doing law. Mm -hmm. I was at Parkland's campus. Law? Law. Man, you need to sanitize. That one, <laughs> just need to sanitize. <laughs> that is low. Great. Low. Akuna mchezo. Akuna mchezo. Uh -huh. Parklands. Parklands, Nairobi. Campus, Nairobi. Uh -huh. So when I joined Parklands, Nairobi, mm -hmm. 
this is not my body kwa kijalutu nasema nilikuwa waida nasema kwa kizo ile nilikuwa waida my body was built in such a way that even if you see me you get scared mm -hmm. before even i address you mm -hmm. so when i joined Nairobi i had this character of being tafeted mm -hmm. i didn't know i did not know at all mm -hmm. what was triggering this mm -hmm. but when i joined there i joined also politics mm -hmm. somehow i joined politics to some extent mm -hmm. I liked, well, I liked politics so much even when I was in primary level. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was saying in life that one day I will become a politician here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So to cut the story short, when I joined Nairobi University, mm -hmm. first year, during my first year, first semester, mm -hmm. I was really tough and I could go and attend lectures. I could just put on the three piece. Mm -hmm. There is a coat, half coat, mm -hmm. shirt, mm -hmm. tie, and then I walk barefooted. I don't put on shoes hall. to the lecture hall. So you can uh, just uh, approximate the degree of tough-headedness, how it was. It was on another level. It was on another level. So when I, after, after doing that, mm -hmm. as I was also doing this, I could meet some ladies even in the university. Mm -hmm. And due to the fact that I was very rude and doing some odd things, those disparate actions, mm -hmm. I just tell a lady, I, I even I greet her in Lu language, mm -hmm. Nango. Mm -hmm. If you fail to reply, mm -hmm. you receive a slap. Because you cannot fail to know international language. That was serious. It was very serious. Was so I was serious. storming, I was storming Parkland's campus. Mm. So after that, now the session of cult, whereby mm. you've said, you just asked me that question, mm. how I joined it, the cult. Yeah. The cult. Mm. I liked politics very much. And by that time, there is something that was taking place in Nairobi University. Mm -hmm. So I indulged, I got interested. Mm -hmm to join the convoy politicians. of politicians. Mm -hmm. Now, when I joined this convoy, that was in the year 2011, after joining the convoy, I met some other colleagues also because I could not go there alone. Mm -hmm. I met other colleagues who are also there. Mm -hmm. After meeting them, now there is a day because I want to go to direct the point. Mm -hmm. It was a certain night, it was a Thursday. Mm -hmm. I do remember it very well. Mm -hmm. I was in my house because I was living outside, outside, outside the campus. this campus. Mm -hmm. So as I was in my house, mm -hmm. at around nine in the night, mm -hmm. some of my friends came mm -hmm. and I was in the kitchen, I was cooking, mm -hmm. I was preparing my meal. Mm -hmm. So when they came, they called me by name, by name Thomas, can you come? Mm -hmm. And I recognized the voice because, because I... A, a voice that you... Yeah, a voice that I know. Recognize. I recognized the voice mm -hmm. and I said, no, in law, you cannot say that I had the voice of someone, so it was that person. Mm -hmm. I had to go and confirm physically. Yes. Is it real? This uh, is the person. Mm -hmm. So when I got back to my sitting room, mm -hmm. I saw seven of them. There were seven men. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Mm -hmm. They came and they told me, Thomas, we saw, we've seen you. All, the seven, All the seven were gentlemen. There was no, there were, we didn't have a lady there. Uh, okay. So they told me, mm -hmm. Thomas, we've seen you are interested in politics, mm -hmm. and now we want to have a meeting, mm -hmm. or now we can strategize how we can plan. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, that is okay, mm -hmm. but I was preparing my meal, let me prepare my meal. Mm -hmm. Then I come back, I prepared my meal, I ate, then I came back to the table. Mm -hmm. So at the table, when I came back after preparing that meal, after eating, mm -hmm. we started a meeting. Mm -hmm. And actually, the criteria of starting a meeting, I think everyone knows that, mm. that before a meeting is started, mm. we must we pray. Have pray yeah. We have to pray. Mm. So they told, uh, they told me, mm. let us, they, we just told ourselves, I can't say, they told, he told us that let us, let's get hold of our hands together. Together. Now you are in, yeah. in unison. In unison, mm. in unity, mm. because we want to commence a meeting. Right. We want to start off a meeting. So there was a man, I think in Mrabu, somehow, mm -hmm. can describe him like that. Mm -hmm. Now at that point, at that scenario, mm -hmm. he started to pray. Mm -hmm. And he was praying in, in another language, oh, not even English, English, a different language. language. I could not understand. So you are just there, the prayer is going on, yeah. but in a different language. A different language. You can't really understand. I can't really understand, even, even if I was being abused or anything else. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. But uh, in my mind, I said there is no problem because when I'm having a look at him, mm. maybe he's a Muslim. Uh -huh, and he looked yeah. decent. He looked, he looked decent, everything. So I said maybe a Naomaki Islam. Islam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it didn't bother me. Mm -hmm. So you know, we 
we closed our eyes mm. and uh, hands, shook all hands held all together, hands held together mm. in my house. Shockingly enough, mm. we did not say amen. We didn't say amen. Why? There was no amen. But what I heard, or the feeling that I heard in vain in my hands, mm. the, the two people, because now we are holding hands together, there is someone on the left, someone on the right. Mm -hmm. They were leaving my hands. Now I had to open my eyes. Uh -huh. When I opened my eyes, I was shocked. I was in a different place. Not from your house? Not in my house. A totally different place. place. And they left my hands. Mm. Actually, the building was good. It was a very nice, good building, nice, nice building, beautiful building. Mm -hmm. Even the seats there were magnificent big seats. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, I'm in another place. But I was shocked. Mm. In how, I was how shocked. Have come here? How have I come here? Mm. How did I reach here? Hey. What brought me here? What? So at that point, when they left my hands, mm. they went and took their seats. And they sat down. Mm. No one of them, none of them even spoke to me. Mm -hmm. Now there was another old man who came mm. in that room. In, the, in that it house. Was, it was a house. It was a house. Mm -hmm. It was a very big house. Mm -hmm. I can call it with the streets inside it. Oh. Some streets. You know, the kuna, there are some houses, some rooms, some rooms. Mm -hmm. So there are some streets in that house. Mm -hmm. So when that old man came, he asked me a question. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to work with us or we kill you? So the, the, the choices were only two. Two. Either to work with them, to work with them or, they, or they, kill. they kill me. If you are a normal human being in your right no, senses. No, no, let me just ask you something. Yeah. Now that you are in before this old man's house, mm. uh, in his presence actually, mm. these guys who were calling you in your house, mm. were they also still there? They were still there. They were still there. They were still there. You could see their faces. I could see there. their faces. This, mm -hmm. some, this, this, so and so, this one, so, mm. this one, so. But this house, could you even uh, think of maybe, uh, you know, compare it with somewhere, maybe somewhere you know in Kenya? Was it somewhere in Kenya? Or no, it? no, 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 no. Mm. It's not somewhere in Kenya. It must be somewhere outside it's Kenya. It must be somewhere outside, outside this physical land that we are seeing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to tell you there, mm -hmm. outside this physical life. No, by then I could not understand which place I was. Mm -hmm. I, what I could only know, what I could only tell mm -hmm. by then is that I'm in a different house. Mm -hmm. not, so, house. not my house. Mm -hmm. So at that place, at that point I mean, mm -hmm. when this old man came and posted such a question that are you ready to work with us or we kill you? Actually, even you on your right senses, you will say, I'm ready to work, to so work with you. You told them you are ready to I'm work. To, I told them I'm ready to work. Not that I wanted to work with them. But now the, 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 the conditions. The conditions. And the choices are and just the choices two. Are just two. Mm -hmm. And when they are, when uh, I don't want to die, at the second stage, at a common in Yangana, say that I want to try, mm -hmm. I want maybe to put, to put them in a fight. Mm -hmm. I could not because I'm in a different place. I don't know which powers brought me here. What? I don't know how I got there. Mm. So I had to choose the easiest option to work, to work with them. So after that, after telling them that I'm ready to work with you, these seven gentlemen mm. left. They just disappeared. They were just going along the street and I'm seeing them, I'm not seeing any one of them. Uh -huh. They went like that and I remained in this house mm. for three days. In the same house? The same house. Mm. And each with day, this old man. with this old man and some other old men also were there. Uh -huh. They could come, now they give a piece of advice, it is easy, my, our son, it is easy, don't worry, everything is just well, trying everything is fine. Trying to comfort and me console and console me. Mm -hmm. So, each day I was being given five liters of blood to drink. Five liters of what? Of blood to drink each day. In the, the same, same house? The same, same house. Mm. I had to drink blood. There was no any other alternative. Mm. So I drank blood for three days, five, five liters each day. Each day. That is for three days. It means that I drank, I drank 15 liters of blood mm -hmm. for those three days. Mm -hmm. And then the third day, I was only told, now you are free, you can go back. And I tried after three days. After three days. Mm. And I was really shocked and telling myself, how will I go back? 
the people who brought me here, they are not here. They are no more. Mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. even trace them. I'm in a different world. But at that point, I didn't know where I was, but my mind was telling me, mm. maybe in Menge Mahali, mm. I'm somewhere very bad. Mm. There is a, a, an Arab mm. who also came mm. and told me, Thomas, now since it is time to go back, mm. let's get hold of our hands together. He got hold of my so hands. So they made you understand that you are supposed to go back. I'm supposed to go to back house. to my house. Mm. That is after three days. After three days. Meaning the these day. three days you are not even attending lectures. I'm not attending the lectures. I'm not even in my house. I didn't know even the condition of my house because my, the door was open. open. I left the door open. So you are in another world. I'm in another world. Three days now they are telling you now you have taken blood five liters five a day. Five liters a day. Uh, for three days, for 15 liters. 15 liters, yeah. Now you are supposed to go back I'm to I'm supposed to go back home. to my physical home. Wow. At that point, that, uh, the, the, that man got hold of my hands mm. and uh, he told me, can you just lift up your left leg a little bit from the ground? Your left leg? My left leg. Mm. Holding so, his hands? Holding his hands. Mm -hmm. So when I did that, mm -hmm. we disappeared. I found myself in my house again. The same position you were? The same position I was. Mm. The same seat. In the same seat. In your house? In no, my in house. In Nairobi. In Nairobi. Mm. And I was shocked and I talked to myself and I said, hey, this is now another experience in this world altogether. Another experience. Wow. Blessed viewers. I'm shocked and I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really shocked. I don't know how to put it, but uh, we are actually going to... Um, take a, a short commercial break and uh, it's really shocking the story is really shocking because you can hear the story from when you got to Nairobi University doing uh, staying outside the campus and now he's visited by three uh, seven gentlemen they are holding their hands together to have a prayer and the prayer is done by someone who is in a Muslim attire kind of uh, an Arab but now they are holding their hands together. This guy prays in a different language. And all of a sudden, he is finding himself in a different world. And now, you know, getting in, himself into that world, I don't know whether it's a throne room or something, sort of. Now he's really you know, given instructions, asked questions whether he wa he's ready to work or to die. And he's, he's taking a choice of ready, being ready to, to, uh, to work with them. And now we have gotten all these stories, but I'm just taking this short commercial break, but I'll be right back with this story. This is a story that you cannot miss. Keep it locked, keep yourself tuned in. Thank you. <laughs> 